Hi folks, Neil from ECS Coffee. We're sitting in our boardroom today as our store is busy with people out buying products for their home beverage needs. So, uh, got to go out there with a mask nowadays. So rather than having a mask on video, I thought we'd take this into our showroom. Today I want to talk about the Baratza Encore and Sete 30. Uh, a lot of questions as to which one should I get if I'm looking for a new grinder. Um, I happen to have to take a Sete out of the box, so I figured I might as well do an unboxing on that to kind of show you the presentation that you get with Baratza. And I'll go over very quickly uh, the features on both. The Baratza, in our opinion, is the go-to grinder for anyone looking for either drip coffee or espresso. There are more than just these two models, but they're the two most popular models because they're more at the entry level price point for uh, one of the Baratza grinders, the Encore being uh, the least expensive, the Sete being one st step up. Um, so let's unbox the Sete and I'll talk about the difference between both and my, why you might want one over the other. So let's have a quick look inside the box and see what we get. All right, fancy Sete quick start guide. We've got shims, which I'll explain in a minute. Fancy lid, oh, fancy lid, it's just a lid. Uh, I've got our container, our hopper, and of course, the Grand Poobah, the actual grinder itself. Don't do that with the backdrop nail. Okay. So the, uh, the Set A30 is more of the newer design for the, uh, the Barazza grinders. We also have our little plug here, which I will not... Uh, I will not show everybody, um, but it's a newer design, a little more sleek, you can see, than, than the Encore over here. Uh, Encore, again, has had kind of the same shape. The, the new casing has the Barazzo logo on the side, but it's pretty much the same shape overall. And the neat thing about this guy, um, and, and it has most of the same functionality as the Encore, so we'll take all these guys out and put it all together. Uh, we do have the ability to open and close the um, open the and close the bean hopper, which is great, which the Encore doesn't have. But let's just get that in there and we'll get started. There we go, nice and tight in there, and we got our lid to go on top. So again, we can open and close if we want. If we want to change the beans out, really, that's what that's for. We've got a little cleaning brush here, and a little little guy here for cleaning up. And then of course we have our container or holder which can go just like that. So very easy setup, uh, pretty straightforward uh, unit. This is what you get out of the box. Um, and I can go over a couple of the features with you. So they're the two most popular grinders that we sell. We are huge fans of Barats. In fact, we don't even really like to promote uh, any other grinder in similar price points to these because these guys are just the best. Uh, really well built, not very many problems with them and you can get parts to repair them, which is really nice, unlike a lot of uh, products on the market nowadays. So I'll go over the, the differences very quickly. Uh, they're both relatively entry level in the way of professional ish prosumer grinders. The Encore is more for someone that's going to be doing a drip coffee. Um, the reason being, it's just the, the adjustments on the grind aren't the best for espresso. So you're going to get, you know, decent, decent French press, but you're never going to get like a Turkish coffee out of this or something super fine espresso out of this guy. Uh, you have 40 adjustments, macro adjustments here that you can, you can turn. You have a basically a, an on off timer on the side, or sorry, on and off on the side, and a pulse at the front. The coffee will grind into the little little container here. So then you'll have to scoop that out for either your espresso or for your coffee machine, whichever you choose to use it with. Again, great machine. Uh, it is our number one seller. It is a good price point. That's probably why. Uh, huge fans of this and we get very few returns. In fact, the only returns we get are usually from people that think that this grinder is going to do things like chia seeds or they, they want to put something silly in it. Um, we think um, it's usually user error um, in putting them together. Sometimes there's people break these and there's a few videos Barazza has on, on how to uh, how to set this up so I won't go into that. Uh, one thing to note is do not use oily beans if you can help it. Oily beans are always going to be an issue in grinders because the oils will congeal and cause you issues. So think of those deep, deep roasts that you would get like at a Starbucks. You literally just look at the bean and if it looks wet then it's relatively oily. We like to use dry dry coffee beans for, for all of our coffees uh, when, we're, when we're grinding. So 40 millimeter um, uh, steel, um, I'm losing my mind. 40 millimeter conical steel 
40 millimeter conical steel um, grinder on both these guys. And uh, again, really top quality grinder, the Encore. I think if you're looking for something that's gonna be more espresso, so if you're spending money on a higher end espresso machine, you may wanna move up to the Sete 30 or something beyond that, just cause you can get uh, a bit more of a fine grind for your espresso. So let's go to the Sete 30. Um, kind of a nice upgrade. You can kind of see that the, the styling is a little more sleek. This came out a couple years ago. Uh, and it, it also looks like the 270 and the other uh, Barazzas that are out there. Uh, basically, this guy has a few additional features. One being you can actually close the hopper. So if you want to change the beans, um, it's nice and easy. And it's got a timer function in this as well. Uh, you have 30 steps of macro adjustments with this guy, which you want to make only when the grinder is running. Um, so you do get a little, a little better um, uh, quality espresso grind out of this guy than you would out of, the, say, the, the, um, the Encore. Uh, one nice feature that you do have also with the Sete 30, you can have the container um, which you can place in here, or you can actually turn these guys. So we've turned these guys already, so you can actually put your porta filter in there. You do kind of have to hold it. It's not going to stay there on its own. At least this one's not, but you can have your porta filter in there, or we can flip these around, and we can put our container, if I've done that right, right in there like that. So that's the two basic differences from these guys. Both great units, really nice price points. If you're looking for a grinder, we do have the other models available. However, um, if you're looking to get into a decent grinder and not spend too much money, we highly recommend Barazza, highly recommend uh, supporting this North American company and the quality products they make. That's it, folks. It's a very quick video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe below. Give us a like. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a great day.